time to remove the tack strip. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. That's all I can find. I also got a hammer here. I mean, you don't need a little chisel or, or a cat's paw or a flat bar or whatever to bend down like that. You can use a shovel. Now, if you have a shovel, you know, a square one like this, it's maybe only, only this wide works good. Or even a point. Let's try the point and see how well it's going to work. And the tack strip is nailed down every so often. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to start pushing into it. And then I can lift up on it. Like that. And just keep going. tack strip is maybe three feet long okay and then it and then it breaks and then there's a joint okay and then sometimes they install little pieces okay so just you know with a shovel like this push in and just push down and you'll get them it's a good way to do it and we'll go back and clean up around the edge make sure we get all the nails out So that's how we're going to do a project, and we're just going to go ring around the rosy, right around the room. See there? That's how you're going to do it. You're just not going to mess around when you do this, are you? And this tip is actually working good with that pointy shovel. With the square shovel, it's a little bit trickier. Because as you're hitting there, you don't have much room, but it'll still work. Push it hard, see? If you just have a flat shovel at home. You can use the tip too. Like that. See? And just keep working on down here. Let's see what I can do here. This was that room where that sauna is, so I'm just going to have to be careful. Let's, let's use the point, pointy shovel. say now now I can go back and I'm gonna pick this stuff up I'm gonna get the long pieces first and just kind of stack them be real careful with them because remember I was telling you there's points on them see all those yowza that's why you got to use gloves that's what holds your carpet down see as you stretch it this is nailed down and and the nails are going that direction so when the carpet hits there and stretches, then as it's backing off, it gets caught right there. And then if it needs to be stretched a little bit more, they stretch it and it pushes forward a little bit. And then it gets caught right on that stuff and then they kind of tamp it down. Okay, but each side has nails because on this other side are the nails that went down into the concrete. See that nail right there is stuck up. And this nail here came out, but I can feel it. So just be ginger, gingerly working with this with your gloves on and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep them together the long ones as long pieces as I can okay I'm just gonna kind of pick them up around the room and I can stack all the long ones like that and then I can I can find you know in each room you can find all the small pieces and just go around in sequence just pick up your small pieces and, and just make another little pile for those, okay? That's all. And that's going to be your first steps. You're going to have a pile of small pieces. You're going to have a pile of big pieces. Okay? Keep her going. 
Now you should be wearing some earplugs too. If you don't have any earplugs, you can take a little piece of toilet paper, cram that baby in your ear. You want to protect your ears, especially when you get ready to remove your tack strip or start beating on nails with your hammer or anything like that. You can also get little foam ones at the store that you use a few times and throw away or they even have them with, a, with their own little box and two little plastic rubbery ones on a string, let's say. And then you can clean those when you get done, rinse them off, re, uh, uh, you know, clean them off and spray some cleaner on there or whatever, get all the germs off and then leave them for the next time you need them, okay? Protect those ears. Hey, you remember what I always say, or if you've never heard it before, <laughs> maybe you haven't watched enough of my videos, but hey, I'm not going to show you anything I don't think you can do. And by golly, and by Joe, if I can do it, I'm just an average Joe, then I think you can do it too. That's why I feel if I can do it, you shouldn't have any problem with it either. So, okay, so I've still got my shovel here. I'm going to keep pulling. You can kind of get into a rhythm. If you don't get stuck. Okay. There's that. I'll take that and pick that up and put it in my associated piles. I've got short pieces. And I got a long piece. I got my piles here, short pieces and long pieces go around your entire room and it's going to look just like that. Now, once you get your room up to there, you're going to have to, you got your gloves on, you're just going to have to feel along here and see if there's still some nails. I got one there and I've got a regular hammer. I pull that out. This one's a wood one, and if you need to get one, I would highly recommend you getting a fiberglass one. And you can get a cheapo fiberglass ham hammer for maybe seven, eight dollars at the hardware store. Okay, so I'm just gonna feel for the next one and pull it up. And you're gonna get to some that eventually you're gonna want to you're gonna want to try to pull the nail up, and maybe the whole thing doesn't come up. Maybe you snap the head off. Okay, so far these are coming out all right. I still want to double check it. The last thing I want is to say, okay, I'm all done, and then find out there's a couple nails left. So the next person who's installing tax strip, let's say, they have to keep removing nails that you said weren't there. Okay. So if you do, if you do get a nail that the head pops off, then um, you can bend it back and forth and get the rest of it off and then pound in the rest, let's say, if you can still feel just the nib coming out. Okay, so the last thing you want is to have any bit left. So if I saw any extra there, I would try to snap it off and then I try to beat it down so it's flush. Okay? So that's the next part of your project. So go around your entire room, all your rooms for that matter, and pull these nails up. Let's see, I've got a piece of tile there, and that tile came up here. And I can probably leave that, or I can take it and I can glue it back down in there, or whatever. Okay? If I'm gonna go back over it with that tile, I'll have to make a mental note of that, and that's going to happen in certain areas as you're pulling these out, the nails. Okay, just keep on trucking. It's, just, it's labor intensive, but if you didn't do it, you know, the carpet guys will gladly take your money for a re Removing the carpet and your tap strip, no problem, along with their project. But there's no reason why you can't do it yourself. Have a couple friends over, get a pizza, do whatever, have a few laughs, 
enjoy each other's company, and get your job done. Maybe they don't charge you anything, and guess what? Maybe next time they need something done, you go and help them. Okay? Let's see. If you try, if you think, I'll oh, just pound the nails down. You know, sometimes they don't pound down all the way. You could snap them off. See, that one snapped off nice and easy. So did that one. So if you have some that are hard to do getting in here, try, try tapping them off, breaking them off that way, especially if you've got tile down. You don't want to keep breaking the tiles, let's say. See, along the edge, when they pounded in all these nails, they've, they've cracked out all the tiles along the edge. And so when I pull up the nail, the nail does more damage. Okay? And also, if you have any goggles, I don't have any goggles on, shame on me. But if you have some goggles, Now's the time to have them on because the last thing you want is to tap off a nail or something and have it come flying back or a little chip of concrete or whatever and get in your eyes. Be safe, not sorry. Now see here at this closet, I just did this really quick and the tack strip looked like it was in better condition. I don't know what the deal was, but as I propped it all up with the shovel, I just used my pointy shovel here, every single nail came up. So I didn't have to pull any nails, it all, it all stuck to the tack strip, every single last nail. So I got lucky in this room that I didn't have to, to pull out any of these along the floor line. But if, if you don't get that lucky, you know, some of the nails aren't going to come out, okay, up against the side. And in this particular little house, all of the floor has tile down on there, this vinyl tile. I think I told you that before. And... When you start pulling the, uh, see here, the tiles. When the nails come out along the side, some of the tile has a tendency to want to come up. The same thing's going to happen if you pull up the uh, the nails with your claw hammer. As you pull that up, lots of times it's going to pop the concrete underneath, or it's going to pop the tile. And even if you don't have tile, if you have just concrete, it's going to pop little holes. And if you're going back over it with carpet, that's probably okay because then uh, the next carpet installer will nail his tack strip down. It will kind of cover those holes. But if you're going to do something different to your floor, like refinish your floor or whatever, you know, refinish it to make it look like concrete because that's what we're going to do in here. We're going to make this look exactly like concrete. Then we're going to have to patch everything. So the least amount of holes, the better. That's why... Uh, a lot of times you're going to want to, if you can't pull the nails out, you're going to want to just bend them and they'll snap off. When they do, make sure you've got some goggles on. Any kind of, any kind of pair of goggles will do. Now, what happened to my goggles? Here's my goggles. A little pair of goggles like this. You want to protect your eyes. Like when that nail comes out, you'd be surprised how sometimes they pop off. Okay? Man, I'm getting pretty close here. I've got one more room to go.